This video is made for general audiences, meaning that anyone can enjoy it. Thank you. There are many original Thomas characters that people have made in the Thomas fandom, but there's a specific original character that is really nostalgic. That engine is Tom Moss, the prank engine. Hello everyone, today we will be taking a look at my Trackmaster custom of Tom Moss. A while ago, tons of Trackmasters made an awesome video about Tom Moss, which was the inspiration to make this custom. Tom Moss was made by Toy Trains For You, and is still in their videos, which is pretty awesome. Now, you may have noticed that this custom of Tom Moss is not the same as the original one. That's because this is my own version of Tom Moss that is meant to fit into the lore and universe of Thomas. Before we get into how I made this custom, this is the backstory I made for him. Tom Moss is an E2 class tank engine from the LBSC Railway, specifically E2 class tank engine number 107. He worked at a harbor until he was withdrawn from service when British Railways started to scrap steam engines in favor of diesel engines. Tom Moss was going to be scrapped, however, he was left in an abandoned yard and was forgotten about. This yard happens to be the same yard that the experimental engines from Journey Beyond Sodor stayed at. Tom Moss was left there for a very long time, which is the reason why he is covered in moss. Because the original Tom Moss model was an RC Thomas, he has a box van, which I also decided to make too. Because Tom Moss was left and forgotten for so long, he kind of went crazy and now talks to a box van, which he found even though it can't talk back to him. As for the pranks he does, because this is a more realistic version of the character, mainly all he does is just steal trucks or rearrange trucks in ways that other engines don't remember. Alright, so now that we went over the backstory for Tom Moss, let's get into how I made this custom. Tom Moss was made using a Trackmaster 2 Thomas. The wheel arches were removed and I added a dipped running board and only one cab window on each side to make it look more like the real-life E2 class tank engines. The base of the engine was painted brown and I added the LBSC logos on each side as well as the numbers on each side of the engine too. After that, I covered it in static grass, which was an absolute pain in the ass to use. It's messy, and if you're not careful, it will get everywhere. Aside from that, I'm very happy with how it looks, though. The box fan was also covered in static grass, and I made sure to not cover all of the engine and the van, so that the original color of both can still be seen. I added a face on the box van, which is meant to be painted on. Alright, now let's see Tom Moss running on the layout. So that was my Trackmaster custom of Tom Moss. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of this custom? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.